all the stars have aligned and somehow something miraculous has happened and Milo and Ella are allowing me to film during daylight hours. So I'm not going to question it, I'm just going to take the opportunity to make this video. Um, I did a little bit of shopping this morning. Um, I'm supposed to be on a spending ban. It was self-imposed, so, you know, I could quit at any time. Um, however, I was trying to save money because I'd rather save the money right now that I would normally be spending so that I can spend it when we go to Las Vegas in March. Um, now, the way I can justify my spending today is this is basically less than the money that I made through my blog sale, through selling lots and lots of makeup that I wasn't really using. Um, and although obviously, ultimately, I probably lost like half, I got a little bit of use out of each product, if not did a review or whatever else. So I can kind of justify it on, I made that money from my blog sale and so it's not technically money I would have had, it was bonus money anyway. So this is a bonus haul. Um, I went to Primark, Boots and Topshop. I will start with Primark because that's where I bought those things. Um, first of all, it's totally random stuff and none of this is um, probably relevant at all. But I'm going to show you everything that I bought because I hardly ever get to do a haul nowadays. Um, the first thing is very attractive and it's this lovely slip. Um, the reason I bought this is to go underneath my wedding dress because it is short um, but it's kind, of, it's kind of sleeveless because it's got a sheer mesh um, bit here. So I have to have something strapless but it's kind of... The material, though it's thick, it's kind of a little bit see-through because I was wearing something underneath it when I tried it on that had a pattern on it and you could see the pattern quite obviously through it. So although I was going to wear um, a more attractive flesh-coloured underwear underneath it, I thought perhaps I'd like something just to make sure you can't actually see my bra and pants in my photos. So I bought that and that was £6. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I might get some more use out of that. Um, I bought her some shoes because I bought, I bought her some from Next to go with the dress that I bought her from Next. Um for the wedding but they didn't fit it because I bought a size too big because I thought that she was in the next size but she wasn't um so I bought her these and they cost like four pounds and they fit her perfectly and I think they go really, really nicely with the dress but I will show you the dress at some point it might go on, on a blog post in my wedding blog um rather than one dedicated video uh, but they're really cute they fit really nicely and they were four pounds again something not for me this was a pound in sale and I thought she might quite like it and she does and it's kind of a bright theme to the wedding um, so this would be a nice addition for her um, I bought this which was £2 because I've been getting more into blow drying my hair because I don't want to use as many heat styling products on it and blow drying has got to be better thing than straightening and curling um, but the brush that I have is heavy and a bit cumbersome um, so I've looked up a lot online of what kind of brushes that I was looking for and I was looking for something with bristles as well as um, these, whatever these are that you would call them kind of annoyed that they look a bit bent actually but you know, get what you pay for, £2 from Primark um, but kind of combination of bristles to really cling on to the hair um, so we'll see how this goes, but I'm going to blow dry my hair probably tonight or tomorrow and yeah, hopefully this is going to revolutionise my styling. Um, and Ella has been wanting her own hairbrush. This sounds ridiculous really. Um, she's been wanting her own hairbrush for ages. We share um, stuff like that and she's always comes into my room and takes things and whatever. Um, and I thought it was about time she had her own hairbrush. So I bought her this one, which was actually £1 in the sale. I'm not sure why, but it was. So now she has her own hairbrush and I made her a little vanity area in her bedroom that she loves. Um, this, I can't believe I found this. I can't remember where I saw it. I feel like I saw it on Makeup Savvy Fio uh, Fiona's? I don't know she's called Fiona. Fee? Um, her blog. Um, but I'm not sure. It was so long ago and I never saw it. And then I saw it and I thought, well, this is like at least last season and it's not in the sale, which was annoying. But I love scarves and it's a massive oversized one so I'm quite excited to wear this. Um, but it's kind of like red and fuchsia and brown or whatever that is. Leopard print. Love it. And that was £4. Um, again, something for Ella. A hat. I can never get her to wear a hat. But I saw a kid with a hat like this at school that she likes. So I thought she might wear it if that kid's wearing it. Peer pressure and all that. And that was £2 in the sale from four. Um, what else did I get? Oh, this. I love this. I love this. This was £2.50. It's one of those things that I see in Primark and I go, £2.50 for a ring from Primark, I'm not paying that. Um, but I actually kind of like this for the wedding. I thought it was really cute to wear on that hand. Yeah, it's going to be a quirky kind of affair anyway. But I love that. And that's £2.50. And look in the mirror, I love it. Plus, hen slash stag do on Friday. I could wear it then too. Love it. 
Um, what else have I got? These. I haven't had any of these big claw clips in years, but I keep finding myself wishing that I had one. Um, like if I've gone to the effort of blow drying my hair or straightening my hair, and I don't really want to straighten or blow dry again because of the not using heat tools thing. Um, I don't want to put a bobble in it because I don't want to create a kink. And I always think if I had a claw clip, it would just be so much easier, like when I'm washing my face or whatever, doing my makeup. Um, so I bought some, and you got like all these for a pound. That's crazy. Two big clips and these um, little mini ones as well. A pound. Awesome. It'd be great to keep in a bathtub as well to like clip your hair up while it's got conditioner in it or something. Um, more grips because I needed more grips for a pound. I basically have no idea where grips go. I buy one of those and then I get to the point where I've got none left and so I have to buy more but I've got no idea where they've gone. I haven't got one left. Um, I bought this for Lee. It's like an iPhone plunger thing. It was on sale for a pound and I couldn't resist. It's like something to like prop your iPhone up with, if you can see. All the babies decided that I can't film actually. Give me a moment. You probably just want to puke on me because that's what's been doing all day, but yeah. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Um luckily I've got through most things. That's everything I got from Primark. Um which I thought was a lot of stuff and it came to about £25. Pounds. That was really, really cool. Oh yeah, the plunger. It says you basically stick the plunger bit onto your iPhone and then the end of the plunger works as like a stand. It was a pound, but I thought it was a quite little, quite little, quite unique little novelty gift. And then I went to Boots. And what did I buy from Boots, Milo? And you remember you were there. More Aussie stuff because it's still on three for ten pounds and I don't want to run out. So I got the Miracle Moist Shampoo and Conditioner again. It's very cool, it's been in the bottom of the pressure. Um, and on the three for £10, instead of getting a three minute miracle, because they didn't have the reconstructor and they didn't have the colour mate, and I didn't want any of the other ones. Um, they had a really small, it's not a great massive boots, it's not tiny, but it's not massive. Um, and they've not got everything in there, so it wasn't a huge selection. So I got this, because I actually don't have hairspray right now. And um, since I have been blow drying my hair and occasionally curling it, and I might want to curl it for the wedding, I've been thinking I need to pick up some hairspray. Um, so this is the one that I got. It's the High Hold High Shine hairspray. Um, I picked up some wax for Lee. He basically tries a different wax every single time he runs out. He's not got one that he really, really likes yet. But this is like, he likes matte, kind of messed up looking hair, but he never manages to get it exactly how he wants it. Um, so this time he's trying... Um, because I've picked it. Surf Style from VO5. Extreme Style. Messed Up Styles, Beach Blown Look. If that's what he gets, he'd be very, very happy. And some of you will be really pleased that I've picked this up because you keep telling me that it's amazing. Last Imperfection by Collection 2000. For about a year, or less than a year, six months to a year, people have been saying, you have to try this, you have to try this, because I love the Maybelline one so much. Um, so finally I have. I haven't run out of the Maybelline one yet, but I thought this was a good time to try it because I don't want to run out of the Maybelline one and then need to have this and it not be very good and then have to go out and buy the Maybelline one. So I'll try them alongside each other and if I like this, perhaps I will repurchase this the next time. Because um, this was actually 50p off, I think it was £2 something maybe? Or... I don't know where my receipt's gone, but... It was 50p off, whatever the normal price is. And I got it in fair because um, it's going to be my under eye concealer. Um, and potentially concealer for other places as well, depending on um, how well it works and the coverage. Uh, lastly, I went to Topshop and I bought a dress. It was £12. It was in the sale. It's from Love. Love at Topshop. And it should have been... How much should it have been? 24 I think. And it's 12 And I love it. It's the same cut as my wedding dress. It's like that skater cut dress. Um, and as soon as I bought my wedding dress and I tried it on, I knew I needed to find more dresses in that shape because it's so flattering to my body type. Absolutely amazing, especially because right now I'm kind of carrying a little bit of extra weight around my middle. Yes, I am. Um, it just disguises that perfectly. It hits. The waist is just on my actual waist as opposed to most dresses kind of hit a little bit further down or a bit tight, but it hits at my waist and flares out and it's just a really, really flattering cut for me right now. Um, I've got it in small to medium and it fits perfectly. And I can't really show you because, well, obviously, Milo won't permit it. I'll try. But it's got that kind of neckline, if you can see. It's kind of got a pleat in the front um, and little pleats around the back. 
and it's quite short. I will definitely, definitely be wearing black tights, like opaque tights. Um, I wouldn't be able to get away with wearing anything other than that until my legs are super slim and perhaps tanned. Um, but I'm, I'm a total convert to black tights since I've had Milo because I've got super, super new mum cellulite and it's horrible. Um, but black tights cover everything. It's absolutely amazing. They are wonderful magic tights. Um, so I will probably wear that on Friday night. It just fits so nicely. And it's so not my style normally. Um, but it just made me realise that I need to try new things because I would never have picked up a dress like that till I tried on my wedding dress and knew how well it, it, it suited my shape. Um, so I would definitely recommend that you kind of go out of your comfort zone and try new shapes of um, clothing because I would never ever have picked that previously and it just is so lovely. Um, but I will show you a picture of that on the night because no doubt I'll do some kind of outfit of the day post and hopefully a video. Um, but thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please go and subscribe. Um, I know I haven't done a haul in ages and I probably won't be doing another one for a while. Fingers crossed if I can stop spending money. <laughs> um, but I've been, I've been pretty good so far. I haven't spent any money since doing kind of Christmas presents and stuff. So that's pretty well, it's pretty good going for me anyway. Um, and I'm going to have my birthday at the beginning of February. So I'll probably get a little bit there. That might put me on. Um, new things wise and then it's the 18th of March that we go to Las Vegas so I'll be strictly on countdown and trying to get as much money as possible so anyway as I say thanks for watching and um, I did want to mention that I've deleted about 300 videos some on purpose and some not um, in the last week so you may now be able to find some of my older videos a little bit easier and I'm hoping to have got rid of the majority of the rubbish because I mean I make videos at such such a rate that there is a lot of crap and I'm sure videos that I'm making right now that I'll go back and then I'll probably delete now. Um, but previously I was keeping every single video. I've kept my first ever tutorial and a lot of old videos, they're not all perfect, some are still rubbish. Um, but I've kept them for kind of like humorous purposes. Um, whereas there's a lot that just didn't need to be there so I just deleted them. Um, but yeah, go and check those out and thanks for watching.